This is the Meerkat Inn for D7 with the Bride Market Review for Halloween, October 31st, 2016. Hey, what were the markets doing today when this ghoulish day? Let's take a look uh, up or down. Let's look at the numbers. S&P, flat. Uh, the DIA, flat. We have the Qs down just 0.09%. And the uh, small caps up just 0.04%. So... Basically, a doji day on Wall Street. And if we take a look at bank, though, however, look at that. Bank up 0.48%, almost a half a percent on banks up. But at the same time, the VIX, the fear indicator, up 4.8%. Closed right there at the 17 range. So it's starting to come back in, that fear. Uh, part of that, of course, is the uh, political climate. Now a little bit more uncertainty with this latest revelation of emails. And no one knows exactly what to think. That brings in uncertainty. That brings in fear. Thus goes up the VIX. Uh, look at gold and silver up uh, just uh, slightly, about about half a percent. Uh, and then we've got oil, oil down 4.3 percent, down below 47 dollars. We're like over 51 dollars uh, just five days ago here, traders. Yeah, things have been starting to fall apart a little bit there. And again, worries that the uh, OPEC is not going to be able to hold these new production limits that they're setting with the OPEC and non-OPEC nations. Then we have the dollar, you know, pretty much break even. And the trend, you know, was also right at neutral. No trend trade tonight. Let's take a look here at the uh, at the charts now. SPY, here we are in a falling wedge here, which is slightly bullish. But it's been looking more bearish here because we've been in this. Look at how long we've been in this range. And prior to that, look how long we were in that range up there. So we're in a tight range and probably be, will be for one more week and one more day until this election actually happens. Uh, where there's a lot of uncertainty. Uh, then we we'll take a look at the Dow here. Uh, and it was right here in its, in its range of its descending triangle. Then we have the NASDAQ here. Now this one, uh, it broke down here and bam, bam, bam. It is below the support lines, below the moving averages, looking a little more bearish, but look at that, all over the place today, but ended up just slightly negative, just barely. And then we got this small cap Russell here, look at this, came down here, bear flag, bam, and it's just fell down, but today bounced just a little bit. But it just could be a nice little rest before it continues its way down. And then Bank, of course, is just sitting up here. And then we've got the VIX here, man. It started to spike up. This is on the daily. We're boom, 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 boom. That's five days in a row where we've had an increase in the VIX, increase in the fear, meaning more people are buying puts to cover their long positions because they fear the market is going down. Hey, let's take a look very quickly at the monthly charts. Since this is the last day of the month, here is the SPY monthly. And uh, as, as I mentioned on the weekend video, uh, we are now closed down here. We now have one, two candles of higher lows and higher highs. That uh, is now a, officially a down leg on the monthly chart. So we were in an up leg. We're now in a down leg right now. Doesn't necessarily mean we're in a down trend yet. And then we've got the Dow. Same thing. One, two candles now. Lower highs, lower lows down leg here after a nice up leg on the monthly chart we now that we're at the end of the month the Q here is now high basing here it actually has an inside candle here uh, but it's at the end of an up run so it really doesn't mean much other than a little bit more indecision here we are in a sideways right now on that and then on the Russell here uh, we have just one candle but pretty large coming back down but only one. We're not in a down leg yet. We need to have two candles of lower highs and lower lows to officially be in a down leg. This is Mark the Meerkat. Just remember that it's better not to be in a trade and wishing you're in than being in a trade wishing you're out. Trade well.